And today, you have asked them to bring in the best thing you've ever received in the post. Ooh. <laughs> Sarah. From the age of about 10 or 12, I've loved Philip Schofield. And <laughs> I had a lot of posters of him, and I took a photo of myself, of me in my bedroom, with my perm and all of my posters of Philip Schofield, and I sent it to him. He sent it back. <laughs> Weird. A true fan. Look how pleased I am. He's not on the uh, crucifix, is he? <laughs> <laughs> He's not fan. For years now, my mum has been sending me the most unbelievably ugly pants uh, that I've ever seen. Here are Fern's mum's pants. <laughs> <laughs> my mum, I believe, was sending me these as some sort of ch chastity belt <laughs> type thing. <laughs> Oh, I love milk. Microwaves and plinths. Milk or microwaves. And there's a metal bowl there as well. Yeah. So stuff's got to get mixed. Stuff's got to get mixed. Shall I open my task? I wouldn't open it yet. Wouldn't open it yet if I were you. No. I wouldn't open it just yet. Why? I'm just saying I wouldn't open it yet. What's your name? John. Star sign? Kearns. What do you ask start me? sign. Oh. <laughs> well, people usually go first name. Right. Then they go last name. Right. Aries. <sighs> 28 minutes. Place of birth. St Thomas's Hospital. Are you opening it? Do you want me to open it? I wouldn't open it. But why are you saying that? It's your star sign. Gemini. How high can you jump? Ooh. <laughs> Foot. <laughs> Ah, Brad's ready. What's the other questions? Who's your favourite singer, John? Uh, Rufus Wainwright. Yuck. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Some more questions if you want them. Yeah, go on then. Phobias? No, nothing. Biggest regret? I'm not going to say I haven't lived my life without regrets, <laughs> but I tend not to dwell on them. Just give me a regret. I don't really have any, but I'm not one of these kind of people that doesn't have regrets. You do have regrets. I've got regrets, yeah. Right, what's the biggest one? <laughs> you been to Greece? You no, know, you're mad, huh? Have you been to Greece? No. Right. Within 30 seconds of opening this task... You must pick up both milk bottles and hold them directly above the microwaves. The clock stops when a milk bottle, hand... ..or arm touches, touches the microwave, microwave... ..or is no longer directly above a microwave. Lowest number on the clock wins, but if the clock reaches zero, you're disqualified. I'm a strong boy. I'm not joking. I've had a shoulder injury recently, that, uh, and I can't... Mm -hmm. you put... There we go. Thank you. <laughs> mm. A few regrets now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'll try to warn you. Um... Oh, it's just struck the mic with this, so I'll stop the clock. That's why I didn't want you to open the task. Why? Well, so the clock would go down more. Oh, so it's OK, so I'm, someone might do worse? Yeah, someone might do worse. OK. OK, bye. <laughs> but, Jesus, but if the clock reaches zero, you are disqualified. <laughs> oh. Well, you... Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on, what? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? what? What clock? Have I have I stopped? Yeah, you stopped. Yeah, you put the mailboxes on the microwave. Oh no! At no point did you say that had to be full, though, did you? Take that off. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's done back for you. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> ah, like a milky torture. Oh, that's it. Just oh. Yeah. Oh, now that's just touched there. Oh, has but, it? Yes, that's enough. Oh, no, look at my boots. <laughs> now, look at the floor. Oh, I should have tipped them out before. I could have brought that to you. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Well, much like on a summer's day, if you're wandering through a meadow and you might just catch a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> We've caught the moment where Dara realised that he's totally 
like this. Wait, what? Hang on, what? Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> That's just rude. You're really pushing me today, Alex. You know this. Strike the bullseye with your paint. You must only step on the stepping stones and you must step on all the stepping stones. You're, wait, what? No. Oh, Jesus! Also, your hands must be below your waist at all times. Your time starts now. OK, Alex, can you talk whilst I walk, yeah? I think so. <laughs> what the hell? Alex! Yes? OK, I need to go back. I need to get some more. Ah. You put paint on the flag. Ah! <laughs> but I'm in. Ah, this is something I learned from being a shop girl at uni. <laughs> I've done it. Yeah, I've stopped the clock. Only seven stones. Lovely. Wait, what? <laughs> Jesus. All right. That should be enough for now. Yeah. That's got to make up for some real things in this episode, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? You winded me up. It's a joke, Mark. Oh, I see. It's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> I'm going to storm off. Like Piers Morgan. It's to create buzz. It's, it's too hot. It's this too is serious. the same temperature as something that's burning. Because <laughs> it's so hot. Permanent tan. What? We lived in the Pink Palace, it's a real flat. It's real? People of colour should be driving HGVs across channels, not presenting them. Seriously? Yeah. I don't know if that could. <laughs> <laughs> you had the milk on your tongue. What'd your reaction be? You on it? No? I would vomit. I'm barely holding on here. If you get shot, they need to get you out of there! You don't like talking absolute rubbish. Mm. You always look like an accountant, which is so <laughs> ironic. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.